Hello everybody, welcome back to Simulated Heaven. By the way, I think the problem I was having with this game, uh, with the whole, you know, like the glitch with the, the tiles, I think it was because of the, the, the recording software that I was using. I'm using a different recording software and uh, it seems like all of the tiles are working fine now. Anyway, welcome back to Simulated Heaven and welcome back to Worm Online. I've been wondering about this server uh, trying to find a nice location to start building. That's essentially my plan to try and find a, an area in the middle of nowhere, hopefully, where I can actually have a go at creating some stuff that hopefully no one is going to find and break. Um, making videos is not going to help with that, though, is it really? Anyway, um, I found this really awesome um, place here. I think it's called Bear something, Bear Castle or something. It's really awesome. Someone has basically taken a long, long time to make like a, a sand pathway that leads out there and they have made it in the middle of the water. It's pretty amazing. Um, yeah. But that must have taken a lot of patience, let's put it that way. But yeah, and if you remember in the last video, and let's drink water before I forget. In the last video, I was having a bit of a problem with um, the iron thing, right? But it, I've kind of worked it out now. It wasn't that hard, but anyway. So I can find a tile, like a rock tile, and if I was to rummage that, so I've just right clicked and gone to rummage, that one was already been used, if you know what I mean. Picked clean is the word I should be using here. In fact, all of these are picked clean. That sucks. Wow. Maybe someone has been here recently. I think it takes about a day for the tiles to be available again. There we go, we found one, cool. So, basically, uh, I need to find rock shards and rock something else. I found that as well because if you remember, I needed a hammer in order to make an anvil or something. And basically, I found that I can use a mallet instead of a hammer. So, I can actually make a wooden mallet instead. I found rock shards, that's good. Let's try and find some more stuff here. It's quite heavy though, so I might become encumbered. We'll see how it goes. No, this is already been picked clean. In fact, a lot of this has. There we go, we found another available tile. What is that down there? Oh, it's a ball, so I don't need to worry about it that much. Which is nice. Let's see what we get this time. Now, what I might do, actually, I, I could just head up here, couldn't I, actually, to see what's up here. It's kind of hard. There is a climbing mode. Is that going to help me to climb? Well, you would have thought so. That's why there's a climbing mode, right? Okay. Maybe some other people have had the same idea as me, using this as a place to build. Because I do see a chest there. But yeah. Okay, so. If I get out of climbing mode. So, what did I get? I got, oh, I got rock iron as well. Cool. So, I'm not sure if I can make a fire here on this pathway. I'm not sure if that's allowed. Let's try. So right click on the kindling after activating my steel and flint. Right click on the kindling. Go to create furnace. Hopefully I'm allowed to put one here. Actually one of the things I really like in this game is after a fire, like a campfire, is used up it just kind of vanishes which is not realistic, but it still is pretty cool. I mean, it certainly helps that the the land is not littered with loads of, of campfires. Okay, so let's put the rock iron into here. So 
that after a while should actually turn in, in into lump iron I believe um, I need more of it so what I'm gonna do do I have any more wood or kindling uh, no I seem to be going through that stuff quite quickly just kinda thinking I should maybe anyway if I'm quick I'm, it might be alright well actually actually I'm just gonna leave it at that whatever I'm, I'm pretty sure it would be enough iron for the purposes of this video hopefully so let me see I believe I need a crude knife of some sort I already have a knife a carving knife I'm not sure if that actually counts as a crude knife let's examine it made for carving not sure anyway let's go to the crafting menu and let's go like this and search for knife because I believe I needed a knife knife okay so we got a butchery knife, I wonder how hard it is to make a butchery knife small anvil, I believe that was the issue I had before right carving knife there was something called a crude knife yeah, I think I need a crude knife. Oh, you know what? I've done something wrong there. For the crude the crude knife, I need rock shards and I need rock iron. So I don't actually need it to be made into into iron like the lumps of iron. Anyway, it's fine. I'm going to leave this what this one for it to for it to turn into um, a lump of iron then I'll go and rummage a bit more okay while I'm waiting for this what I'm gonna do is go and forage a bit around this area hopefully it's not oh is that alive that is alive I wonder if, the, if there's any guards around here let's target it so if you double click on an enemy it will target it then I could try typing in chat guards and see if anyone's there no I don't think there's any guards around so let's just not go near it that thing will kill me in a second let's just go down here a bit and try to forage. I'm not sure if it will let me forage on these tiles. No, it's been picked clean. Oh, there we go. It's always a good idea if you get a bit of downtime it seems to try to forage and botanize. I found some corn. Corn is good. So on this one I'm going to botanize if it lets me yep oh uh, yes yeah, so I was trying to make a lantern because my noob light thing ooh sassafras I wonder what that's used for I have no idea yeah I have no idea what that is I kind of like the animation on the the fire, the way you know, there's like a plume. It's not well. It seems to only go in one direction, but hey, it still looks pretty cool to me. Okay, let's see if it's ready. Yay! We've got a lump of iron now. Cool. Let's put that in our inventory. So we've got two lumps of iron. Um, while this is still burning, I wonder if I should cook something. Uh, I do have some black bear meat. So what I might do, do I have anything to put with it? Yes, I do have corn. So while this is still, because I don't really want to waste it. I don't really want to waste the heat. So let's put corn. And i got three pieces of black bear meat. Let's put that in. Uh, let's put that in the fire. Cool. 
Okay, hopefully that will turn into a nice yummy meal. Um, and let's see while I'm at it what my food level is, 94%. So let's eat a bit more of the casserole that I made before. Just to be sure that I'm up to a good amount. Where did that spider go? Yeah, it's, it's not over there anymore. I'm scared. Is that up here? You can kind of hover the cursor around and it will pick up stuff nearby. Oh my goodness. I have no idea where it is. Oh, did it go up there now? I hope it's that one. Oh, it's moving around quite a lot. That does kind of scare me, to be fair. And I think it might be getting dark soon. Oh dear, the moon is coming out, guys. Seems like every video I'm going to be... I'm going to be making of this game is going to have at some point some darkness, it would appear. Oh well. Right, while I'm waiting for that, what I might do... Ooh, be careful, it's a bit steep. Wow, there's lots of spiders here. Holy crap. Is that a guard there? No. I'm not going to go up there. That's very dangerous. I saw there was, like, a cupboard over there, but the problem is... This is really steep. Is there a spider there? No, this bit is kind of... Steep. Well, I can climb it. Just slowly. Oh, I I got bruised. That was my fault for being a bit stupid. Okay. While we're over here, let's forage a little bit. Oh, don't fall down the hill. Let's forage a little bit. Nature forage. Yeah, just to make sure I have a lot of stuff on me. Because, you know, I'm a noob. I'm very new to this game. Oh, I, I found strawberries. Cool. I like strawberries. Next one, botanize if it will let me. Nope. How about here? Nope. I'm probably going to walk into a spider doing this. Probably not the best idea in the world. Anyway. The reason I came here was to see why is there a container here. Well, it doesn't have anything in it. I'm assuming this area was made. I mean, is this part of a deed? No, it says you see a part of the lands of worm or something. This is weird, man. I would have thought there'd be a deed here because of this. I'm going to fall again, aren't I? Whatever, let's go. Come on. Whoa. Yep, I got bruised again. I kind of knew that was going to happen. Oh well. No, but there is an area around here because there's guards and stuff. So why does it say... Yeah, this is a guard tower. So I was... Uh, I can go in the guard tower? I didn't realise I could walk in a guard tower. Examine. It's, it says it's part of the lands of worm. What is going on? But there must be, like... A deed around here because of the guards but they were further up though to be fair so maybe this area has kind of gone out of you know maybe there used to be a deed here that's kind of not you know yeah a loom okay let's so i don't know i'm kind of wondering if i uh, i don't know i was kind of wondering if i should maybe try to uh start building stuff around here maybe but I don't know it seems like quite a populated area doesn't it so probably not the best idea I've ever had right let's go back up the fire's still burning that's good oh my goodness and let's see uh, if we got some yummy food yeah hopefully we have do I need to go into climbing mode yes I do go into cli climbing mode to get up this hill Hopefully there's no spiders getting closer to me. Hopefully. Okay, out of climbing mode. Let's go check on our food. Open. Pottery bowl. Yeah, there's a casserole, so let's put that in our inventory. Like so. Just going to leave it there inside the bowl for now. And let's go. I'm wondering, actually, because there is a... There, there is, like a container here 
and it's it doesn't seem to have a lock on it. I'm wondering if this is a good place to just. I mean, basically, whatever I am making, and I'm going to be quite. No, I'm all right, but I'm I'm relatively injured. I think that's all like bruises though. But yeah, I mean, it would appear that all this stuff is old stuff that someone has made a while ago. Let me just see what this is. Yeah, it's forty percent damage. I have a feeling this is an old area that someone was making. I don't know. Anyway, like I said, I mean, if there's anything that is, uh, let's examine, see what it says about this. A storage bin made from planks. But yeah, it, it's forty percent damaged. So let's open it. This is a bit kind of risky because I'll probably get everything stolen. But what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to start putting stuff in here. Oh, the crocodile meat would be destroyed. Oh, so hang on. Why would it be destroyed? Am I, like, I'm not allowed to use this? The food, what? Oh, so, hmm. Is it only for cooked food or something? Oh, that went in fine. That went in fine. So why wouldn't it let me put the... Anyway, is it going to... Oh, so it's for food only, it seems. Food, yeah, it's called a food storage bin. That makes sense. I suppose it's a good way of working out what is food and what isn't. So the crocodile meat wouldn't go in so I'm assuming that means you need to actually cook stuff first before you put stuff in I don't know but the casserole is already cooked it seems like it's yeah I don't know hmm anyway not quite sure about this stuff really not quite sure how this works. Now, can I pick this out again? <laughs> oh, God. It's not allowing me to pick it out again. So I'm wondering if because it's owned by someone else. Like, I'm right clicking on it. Won't, uh, like, allow me to pick out again. So I think because this was made by someone else. Oh, I don't know. I'm really confused now. It allowed me to put it in. But when I try to take it out, it seems to not allow me to take it out. No. Okay. Well, it's okay. It's just a few things I, I picked up. Now, before it gets mega dark, I'm going to see if I can. Let me just look at my nutrition. Water. I need water. Now, I do actually have a flask on me. Let me get my inventory open. I do... I actually made a pottery flask out of clay which has water in it so I can drink water without it's like mobile drinking water now let's get back to so I need to go and I need to go and um, rummage a bit more on some of these tiles to get the iron before you know because like I said earlier I need that in order to make a crude knife so yeah I mean, as you can see I'm still working out some of the, of the mechanics of this game how things work I mean I thought it I, I kind of thought it would be very clear when there is like a deed nearby or something like that you know what I mean I don't think I need to pick up any more let's just try crafting straight away so let's get go to crafting uh, I'm going to look at the recipe just... Oh yeah, here it is. Crude knife. So, crude knife. Rock iron and rock shards. So, if I put the rock iron... If I put the rock shards in this side of the crafting window, and I put the rock iron in the other side, it should let me create... Yeah, see? Crude knife. Awesome. Let's see how many we can make. Let's make three, just because I'm probably going to, like, fail. Because I'm a noob. But yeah, I'm like one of the things I really like with Zion is the fact that whenever you walk into someone's area, it flashes up on on the 
the screen like entering blah 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 in this game you know I was aware that you can right click on the ground and I thought it would say if you're in a village but I aren't in a vi you know I am not in a village right now ah, so I, that was actually enough but still it's still a bit weird if you know what I mean let's take the rock shards out I'm not sure if I have to take rock shards out no uh, okay cancel remove okay um yeah but it's see but I'm still not really sure how it works like that storage thing it didn't seem to have like a lock on it I could put things in but I couldn't you know I couldn't actually take it out so I'm still working out some of the mechanics of the game but anyway so I I have a crude knife so I can I should be able to make a mallet now so let's clear the knife thing and go back to mallet I believe I need to make a, sh a shaft actually that sounds rude but yeah need to make a shaft so I'm gonna need a log so what I might do is just wander down here and hope that someone has left a log lying about but if not I'll, I'll have to cut down a tree of my own there's actually a tent here so let's go see if there's anything inside the tent and like there's probably spiders all around here whoop there's probably spiders all around here so it seems like a tent okay let's go into climbing mode it seems like a tent is somewhere where people can like store their stuff but I don't know if you're able to lock a tent or anything I don't know but I've seen these around in the world but I, I really am not sure how they work to be honest like a lot of things in the game open okay so there's quite a lot of stuff in here someone has left their stuff in here there's an oh there's logs in here oh I'm so mean but I'm, I'm actually gonna take them out sorry mate but that's how it works sometimes you know what can I say that's life so I should be able to make a shaft now so a shaft a shaft is no oh yeah a carving knife and a log so let's go back to our crafting menu and let's put in the log and the carving knife carving knife like so and I should be able to make a shaft yeah I think it's this one here well this is the only one that says the word shaft isn't it so yeah let's make a shaft hopefully, hopefully I won't fail too much but I probably will oh it's getting dark So I'll probably, um, yeah, hopefully be able to, I'll be able to make a mallet, and then I'll be able to, I might have enough iron or, you know, I might be able to find enough stuff nearby. Oh, I failed. Let's try again. Um, yeah. I should better find enough stuff around here to be able to make the the lantern because I'm is it going to tell me how much longer I have left oh I still have 15 hours left I think that means so I do still have quite a lot of the newbie time left so I think it's 24 hours of being logged in I think it is I could be wrong I don't think it's like 24 hours a day if you know in real life I don't think because I'm hmm, yeah right did I create a shaft I did let's try to create one more why not because I believe oh actually I've got two shafts now wicked I'm sure it's a thing that I will need a fair bit and I believe I don't have any more kindling so what I might do as well is make some kindling while I'm at it 
but I can't do that now. So I've got a shaft. Yeah. So I was going to make a mallet, right? So to make a mallet, I need a shaft and a mallet head. Okay. So let's make a mallet head. To make a mallet head, I need a shaft and a carving knife. So can we make more more shafts? Oh, I have four shafts. Whoops, can I cancel? No, let's just leave it, whatever. I'm sure that I'll be able to use them up, you know. Should be fine. So I think after this video, I'm not going to do any more videos until I've found a place where I'm going to try and settle and craft stuff, if you know what I mean. Okay, so it was a carving knife and a shaft, yeah. So let's take out the logs and let's put a shaft in there instead. Oh, no. Uh, okay, whatever. And then mallet head create. Yeah, so basically I'll find an area where I'm going to try to settle down and try crafting more stuff like maybe a box and things like that. You know what I mean? The basics, maybe a basic fence or something like that. So I'm not going to do any more videos of me exploring. I'm going to try and find an area where I can uh, start actually crafting more stuff and then I'll probably make a video after that. I'm failing hard right now. Okay, I did actually make one. That's good. Because I'm sure that you guys don't really want to see loads of videos of me just walking about in the world. Exploring. Okay, cool. So, I should be able to make the mallet. So I need a shaft and a mallet head. So I've, I've still got shafts in there, so I should be able to just drag the mallet head, whoopsies, the mallet head, drag that to this, this side, and then, yay, I can make a mallet. Let's just see if I can make a mallet. Because I, I don't have a hammer, but I believe a mallet is the same as a hammer, I believe. So, and then I should be able to, with the, the mallet, I should be able to make an anvil because that was the item I needed in the first video for me to make stuff so I'm gonna have a I'm gonna try and make an anvil so I have one on me all the time because I'm pretty sure I will need one and as you can see the bruising that I had so my when I got bruised when I uh, fell a little bit a while ago my health bar had quite a bit of red on it you can see almost all of that has now healed up I think as long as your food and water is uh, fairly high, then I think that will automatically regenerate. If it's just a bruise, I think if it's a, like a medium or obviously higher than a medium wound, then I would need to treat it. Okay, so I hopefully have got a mallet. Do I have a mallet? No, I think I must have failed. No, nope, I need to do it again. The story of my life. Hopefully this time it will work. Really, again, I'm failed again. What? Please work. Oh, again, I almost made it, but it was useless. No! This is not good. This is weird. The shaft and the mallet head contains two... Oh, anyway, whatever, I created one. <laughs> wow, that took a lot longer than I thought. Okay, so now let's try to see. I, I think I might need to go do a bit of rummaging, but an anvil to make a small anvil, because I believe you need a small anvil for you to make a big anvil. So I need one iron lump. Do I have an iron lump? Do I have any left? Yes, I do. 
So let's see. Iron lump. And a mallet. And I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that it lets me make a small anvil. Yes, it does. There we go, people. Wow. Seems like the quality of the stuff I am picking up is not good. Do I not have any stuff left? It won't let me start because it keeps saying the lump contains too little material to create an anvil. Really? So I need a bigger lump it seems. Okay guys, I'm going to end the video there. Off the video I'm going to make the anvil. I haven't explored that much obviously in this. I've, this has been more of a crafting video. Like I said, I'm not going to do any more videos of me exploring. I'm going to find an area and when I start creating more stuff, I am going to, you know, maybe do a video out after that because I feel that if I, you know, that I need to give this game a fair crack. Uh so, you know, I feel that if I would like to give it a fair crack, I need to at least make kind of a home area and try to craft a few things to see how that is. So thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.